The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. And now, a BOA.TV original series. Welcome to the family. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I am so excited. Today we had a private recording session here at Sky Zone. If I was a lot younger, like my daughter's age, I'd probably be trying something crazy. I like family days like this. The experience was awesome. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. One of the things that BERT teaches and that Bow World stands for is pursuing your dreams and your goals in life. So a friend reached out to me and told me about an opportunity the Florida Panthers opened up. So I was a little apprehensive at first because I thought, ooh, you know, my hockey passions and bowl world, I can't figure out how to make that work. I don't know if you know, but everyone comes to me when they want to talk about certain things before they even share it to the team. When it should be the other way around. It should be more concerned with what I have to think about instead of what the team has to think about. <laughs> so I spoke with Bert. Eric comes to me and asks me, you know, these are some of the things I want to do. Do you think that it'll be okay if I introduce it to the team? And I'm like, yeah. The Panthers apparently put out an ad for three positions that are available with the club. One is public address announcer, which they're holding uh, <gasps> auditions for next Wednesday. Oh my god! Oh my so crap. that's the guy that goes out. You remember when we were at the game? We've been before, but you know, the guy that announces the goals and yeah. the and things like that. So He's gone? That is, I don't know what happened to him. I couldn't find out. Well, who cares? So yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I know you're the voter. And then they're also, it's not an open audition, but the position for radio play by play guy is open because the guy that was doing that is moving into the television. What? So, and the other one is like, um, backup singer for the national anthem. I don't want that one. Um, so the, uh, the open auditions Wednesday and then the play-by-play -play thing, you have to like apply with some kind of materials and things like that nature. So I want to apply for those things and um, pursue that. So if you notice, while he's bringing it up to the team, I had to kind of push him. But he was concerned that we were going to be okay with it. Why? Well, number one, hockey is seasonal. Yeah. <laughs> when you want to say something, when you believe it's something that comes from your heart, just be open. If those people really love you and they believe in what it is that you're doing, of course they're going to follow you. They're, they're going to go ahead and tell you to do it. They're going to support you. And that's important. Yeah, just want to make sure that's cool. Yes. When he came to us with this idea, we're like, we love you, we'll support you. But an announcer for hockey, you know the, the, the like, how narrow or how talk about a niche in yeah it has Miami. Been, in miami and <laughs> not now, really. right and now the opportunity opens that's what we love to do here but we want to make sure that everyone is able to live the quality of life that they deserve and they've earned so we will support you in your dream no matter how crazy it is remember in life you reap what you sow so guess what i'm living my dream and that's because I support everyone's dream. This is awesome. I know. That's but... really cool. Oh, the locker. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The team loved it, and the feedback he got, it was not one that he was expecting. Everyone was real cool. They recognized that hockey is something that I just love doing, and they're all gung-ho and go after it if this is your dream. So whenever you go into something, make sure you have an open mind and an open heart. I had a very frustrating day, and it was one of those days where you just want to cry when you're getting out of the office. So I decided to come to the wellness center and unwind a little bit. And I'm about to get a facial right there. Well, it started so that I can feel yummy. And they asked me if I wanted a PRP facial, basically a vampire facial. Let's see what that's like. I've been hearing about it in the news and Val signed me up for one, so let's see what's up. Where they take blood from you and then they put it into the, you know, that blood thing that just spins the blood for a while and it separates the plasma. And after I had a microdermabrasion facial, they put that plasma all over me and then they rub it in and I was supposed to leave it on for until the next morning and not touch my face so much. Originally when they told me the vampire facial, I thought, you know, I was going to have like blood all over my face, which I did. I had blood all over my face, but I thought it was going to be like red blood. 
but it was just like like the clear plasma with a very light tint so over my face you really couldn't even tell i had it on so are you excited are you nervous like what's what's the deal i'm nervous but i i'm channeling that into excitement okay no, if I'm not nervous, that means I'm not excited about it. The fact that I'm nervous is a good thing, because that means I'm excited. Also very, very worried. <laughs> what if I get up there and I go, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna do great, bro. Go Panthers! <laughs> You'll be fine, man. Doing the public address announcing job is actually a dream I've had since I've been going to Panther games way back as a young kid. Here for the public address uh, auditions. Okay, yeah, go straight ahead. Okay. Make a right into the first tunnel, make a left when you come out. Perfect, thank you so much. You're welcome. Eric was excited. But he was nervous. He was super nervous. The moment we got there, there's this huge line of people. Oh boy. That's just when his heart started racing. Good lord. There's people. And when I saw this line, I'm like, all right, I wanna go. I don't wanna be here. <laughs> there's a mix of people. You know everybody's there for the same thing, but you have people from just, it seems like all walks of life. And there were even dedicated super fans of the Florida Panthers. We didn't know really what to expect because Eric's never done something like this. I've never done something like this. What's interesting, it's, I felt like it was a very gender biased kind of event. There were no women, like two at most. Once you get in, you pre-registered, you signed up your little papers and then they hand you a script. I'd never been on an edition before, or any kind of edition, but apparently this is what actors get. Like an eight page script. It's stuff that I guess the announcer usually says at these games. In the green room where everybody was waiting to go in and audition, there were a whole rows of chairs. And there's like 60 other people all going for one spot. You know, people were anxiously tapping their feet. You could tell who was kind of nervous. I might've been one of them. It wasn't even my interview and I was like, I was nerve wracked. I was nervous for Eric, but he kept his cool. I was one of the ones that was reading through the script, practicing the lines, a script that has eight pages to it. It gives you a bunch of different scenarios of what you'd be announcing during an actual Florida Panthers game. Jeff Lashio, I think. He's new, I'm not familiar with him. So a guy comes out and says, well, we're not gonna do all eight pages in the script. Too many people didn't try to get through all this. We're doing anthem also. So four, seven, Eric and I were talking about this whole process that you had to do just to get in front of whomever was there judging you or whatnot. And kudos to you actors that have to do this for every role that you're trying to get into. Good for you guys. <laughs> a lot of moments I get to stand up and go in there and try this out. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little frightened. Not frightened. I'm just nervous. When my number came up to walk through those doors, Let's review what just happened. Eric is following his dream. When was the last time that you kept following your dream? A lot of times we use excuses to say why it is that we shouldn't be doing it. Like we're too old, we're too young, we're too smart. <laughs> However, those are dumb excuses. Get up there, go do it. Don't live your life with regrets. Make sure that when you get older in life, you don't say, I shoulda, woulda, coulda. So I am so proud of him. And I'm also proud of you because if you're watching this, you're actually going to go out there and start living your dream again. The second part of the episode is about Alex doing things for you. You know who the most important person in your life is? You. That's who. And we always forget about ourselves. How can you love anyone or care about anyone if you don't love or care about yourself? So I want you to stop watching this video. Go out and plan something for you this week. I hope you enjoyed our episodes as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to make it happen. Welcome to the family. My name's Eric. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey. <laughs> All right, and please share this video with your friends and family.